Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Simpson here in my backyard with Miss Foley. Hi boys and girls. And uh, I thought it's such a beautiful day, I'm going to come outside. Hopefully you guys are getting outside as well. And I thought I would look for signs of spring. Things are definitely different in my backyard. Uh, I know that there's no snow. I'm kind of happy about that at this moment. And I'm going to look around for signs of spring. If you could join me with that. And maybe we can find some interesting things to look at. As we start walking around, we see some crocuses. They were dormant under the ground all winter, and now they're coming up. We also see some other spring flowers here. And next to those spring flowers, there's some buds coming out of the ground of another flower that will be blooming in the summer. And in the corner here, I have some daylilies, nice and green. They weren't green in the winter. And as I walk over here, I see a bush. And if I look closely at the bush, at the very end of the branches, there are buds, and those buds will turn into leaves. And as I walk away from the bush, nice green grass. We're going to go look at the sedum. Now, the sedum, the top of it died away in the fall and in the winter. Uh, it left these seed pods and there's no seeds left in them now, them now because the chickadees ate the seeds all winter. Coming over to the pond, we're going to be surprised here with a splash. And if you didn't see the splash, we'll get a close-up of the splash. And that's the frog. The frog that uh, was resting all winter is now moving around quite a bit. There's another creature that's living in my pond, the goldfish. And he was resting way down deep in the pond. And now that the ice is gone, he's coming up to the top. But he is skittish, so he does swim away when you get too close. Now the bird feeder. I'm going to walk over to our bird feeder. And the bird feeder has been very popular right now. A lot more birds at it. And what we've noticed is we're seeing birds that we didn't see all winter. So some birds have come back for the spring. And speaking of that, this birdhouse last spring, some birds decided to build a nest and have babies in it. And we're seeing birds in it again. We're going to go to the garden, and you can see my kale from last year. It's all died away, so I have to replant that. I haven't done much planting in the garden yet. Uh, there's no seeds. I know a lot of you guys have been, plant have been planting your seeds. That's very exciting. So the garden looks pretty dead right now, but uh, we'll be planting seeds soon. And this little guy was hiding in the garden. I found him, a snail, and so he's come back for the spring. And he's a creature that he likes to eat my lettuce. So he and I try to get along, but... I try to ask him not to eat my lettuce. And the other thing that I remembered was I'm wearing a spring jacket, my lighter jacket. So the weather has been getting warm enough that I can wear my spring jacket. Now, you might get outside and start seeing signs of spring in your backyard. You might be lucky enough to see something like daffodils or other things growing. And you could draw a picture, take a picture, write about it. You may even want to share it on the Google Classroom. Take care, boys and girls.